Uh, my name is Tony Sebastian. Uh, I'm from Kerala, uh, India. And I work in DBS in Singapore and uh, responsible for delivering uh, digital consumer products in web and mobile across regions. So here is what I am, I'll be covering today, where I'll go through the journey that myself and my team went through. So I'll be talking a little bit about the challenges and how we set our mission and the solution and the results that we have observed and we want to highlight that. Hopefully it will be a great takeaway for you guys. So the challenges. So in DBS scale, we constantly have a massive amount of innovative initiative and enhancement in our pipeline. And the second one is we want to reduce duplication of work. So it's hard, very hard to uh, team to know that when somebody have done something and how they can reuse uh, those components or anything to their products. So uh, to, we want to reduce the duplication of work. So even though uh, uh, everything starts simple initially in a product, and over the time it grows, and uh, we, we find very hard to handle the UI complexity. So UI will become very complex. So how do we uh, handle that? So these are the, a couple of uh, challenges that we face in DBS, particularly for the product uh, development. So given that challenges, so uh, my team have collaborated with uh, various stakeholders like business design and uh, legal compliance to address how we can address these challenges. And we set up our mission, what, what should be our mission. And one mission is that we have to build a modern front-end development framework which could accommodate our requirements. And number two, we need to build application and component bootstrap, which could actually eliminate repeating work that the developers need to do so that they can focus on writing the business requirements. So, and number three is build reusable components. This is to avoid uh, developers to rebuild UI components, which they have built before. And this would also help the organizations to streamline the branding across all products. So with all this layout, I would like to share what we have built. And this might be interesting to you. And uh, we released, or we developed an internal product. We, called, uh, we call it Falcon. It's actually a UI framework with an opinionated set of tools and technologies and best practices to enable heavy reuse of web code across different team countries within DBS or within our company. And we have built three important uh, pillars. Uh, one is app structure, generators, and UI component library. And we choose React and Redux as the base with other libraries and with all the capabilities like internalization, Adobe Analytics, uh, uh, Storybook, React Router. So this is very opinionated uh, set of tools uh, with the framework. So I will just go through uh, uh, the, the, generate, uh, the app structure in detail. So this is how our app structure looks like, where we have the root reducer action saga and test, where we have the components inside the app. And inside the components, we have reducer action uh, saga and test. So this is how it typically a uh, app structure looks like. And it's standard across all the products that we use. And developers are very comfortable with this structure. And they can easily identify what they write and how they need to document it. And this is the coolest thing that we uh, built, the two generators. One is app generator and the UI generator. So app generator is basically like you just give a command and it will ask you to, to uh, it will generate the boilerplate. 
And uh, developers can straight away write, uh, start writing the business requirements. So even inside this app, uh, app generator, we have uh, the generator for models, routes, uh, uh, a lot of things there inside this. So uh, developers are free to use, uh, or they can create the, the structure quickly with these generators, with these couple of commands. And the other is UI generator. So this is based on the, this is for the components. So we have defined a boilerplate for building reusable components. So it's standard across the, the products. And it's also defined the component structures and how you should document it. So I will just go through the, the number third is the UI component uh, libraries. So UI component libraries, we use Storybook internally to build the presentation components where it is reusable across product, uh, projects and had done through open collaboration with the design and the business teams and is configurable to suit a range of intended use cases and the good thing is it's themable. And thanks to Storybook for recognizing us along with other tech giants and thanks. And uh, I would like to just present like what, how does our component libraries looks like. So these are the couple of the uh, uh, component libraries that we use internally. And we have the libraries for the internet banking or forms, and everything is documented well so that developers, have, uh, developers can uh, easily use these uh, modules in their products. And we use the semantic version to upgrade each libraries. But how we achieve all these things and how we uh, implemented this in our products. So that's the challenging part, but uh, this, this is the, the thing that we want to also highlight and share. Principles that we follow. So number one is no reinvent. So given that all the production li ready libraries are built by the community, there is no benefit to build by our own. So in-house libraries, uh, tend not to cover enough use cases, and we find it hard to get up to date. So you introduce only minimal libraries if required. And number two, reduce choices. We have too many libraries in the NPM, and developers often confuse to choose the right libraries, and these are all, the, all time consuming and not productive. So using this Falcon framework that we built, the product team, product team can focus on building things that brings value to the business. And number three, standard guidelines. So we defined recommended application layout, structure, components to bring consistent development and production environment to the product teams. Based on our data, we also defined the browser support policy uh, for where we want to build our product to the targeted customers not just to the uh, something that is not relevant to a customer. And number four is the flexible. So we, we don't want to limit team's potential. Instead, we want to encourage team to find a better way to improve together. Also, also although this contradicts with our opinionated choices, most of the team prefer decisions made for them so that they can focus on building products. So apart, uh, Apart from uh, the benefits, so I, I would like to share the, the results, what we have observed or what we have got through this journey. So we identified that there is a drastic decrease in time to first meaningful pain for product remake. And the second is we work very closely with the design, uh, design and the business to build the standardized component and consistent experience. So there is open collaboration and fast iterations between the, the, the products. And last, happy developers. So we value our developers, and developers feel happy and confident working with the code base. And they find it hard, uh, easier to add enhancement to existing products, and also easier sprint planning since React is easily composable. So these are the things that work for us, just to recap. So on this digital product transformation to build consistent user experience and high quality products, 
These are the things that work for us. One is the app structure, where it gives the developers to uh, develop uh, or start uh, onboarding, uh, start onboarding the product quickly, and generators, where app generator and component generators help us to kickstart development and also enable us to have faster iteration. And number three is the UI component library with Storybook. Worked well for us for, to ensure components are seamlessly integrated with the products, also documented for referencing anytime. Last, not but least, easier unit testing. So we find it, uh, found it very easier to do unit testing with set of libraries that we choose like uh, Redux Act or Redux Saga, etc. Thank you.